Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to make sure you know all about the Capes and Lunatic Patreon. Don't miss out on all new episodes of Wade's World, Boob Windows and Long Boxes, our hard art movie reviews, and so much more. All completely uncensored. Access starts for as little as $1 a month. Full videos when you pledge $3 a month. Check us out at the link in all of our show notes, or just go straight to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrott, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. Of course. Well, yeah. What's your bonus? This is Luca Parrott. No, why? Because welcome back to the real Disney I am the Bill, and you're the one who has all the kids. Little flipping hellfire. That's right. Really so, hey, guess what? It's your black widow one. So, it all starts here. Today, today we're talking about the team of the 57. It's quite a bit of black widow. It's like a whole all right so maybe we'll do the issue and then talk some news at the end okay that's fine with me all right so so yes kids uh this time we're talking marvel team up 57 from whoa may 1977 this is before me. Holy crap. This is old. See, this was the first time I, I read this one. Uh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I read some of the later Marvel team ups, but yeah, I, I have like big holes in my reading uh some of the like earlier ones. Yeah, like that I'd, makes sense. Like I'd read a bunch of the Mo- mutant team ups because Marvel T- Marvel Tales did some like back in like the early nineties. I think more people probably like around between our ages are probably more familiar with like Ultimate Marvel team up, where it was a lot of like Spider Man and Wolverine, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they ended this one and then started Web of Spider. <laughs> yeah, which was basically the same thing, but shh, don't tell anybody. It's got like- Spider Man. <laughs> Well, they didn't have to do a team up if they didn't want to. <laughs> exactly. Because in my uh, talk with Mr. Jam D. Mateus, scroll down, who wrote some of these later on, he said, yeah, he was like, You're just coming up every month with a, you know, another reason for Spider Man to team up with somebody. True. And then he's like, you can't affect the continuity because a lot of these people have their own books and stuff. I said, oh, then you must have loved it when you write at this time, you're writing Captain America or Defenders. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. A sales bump and a logical reason. Hmm. I'll do what I want. All I'm right, gonna kid. do what I want to do. <laughs> don't, don't summon him. Hey, what are you doing me now? I'm gonna do what We're I not want talking to do. back at, so it's fine. Yeah, uh, true. I'm gonna do what I want to do. All right, and you may be asking why Silver Samurai? Well, writer Chris Claremont. Enough said. <laughs> And penciler Sal Buscema. So someone's getting right crossed. All day, every day. And if we don't, oh. we, we, we're still going to take the drink. <laughs> That's right. Anchor Dave Hunt. Colorist George Rosas. Letterer Gasper Saladino. And Denise Wool. And editor Archie Goodwin. Love a guy named Archie. I was going to say, see... Uh- Although that means his real name's probably Archibald, and that's some old timey. Well, it's 1957, so it fits. It fits. See, well, we're reading Archie. It's close as Phil's ever going to get. That's okay. I have Russell. It's fine. Submit a request through proper channels, I'll tell you. I am the proper channel. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry to get all Black Widow on you. <laughs> All right, so title when when slays the silver samurai. Say that three times fast. Time uh, twister instead of puns, my fave. Hey, suck it, Bruce Wayne. I was gonna say we're not talking about it. 
god, that thing's not gonna that that story's never gonna die. All right. <laughs> Spider-Man is just about to give up on another uneventful patrol of the city and return home to his studies. What? This is definitely old. This is definitely old. Stay in school, kid. <laughs> I know. Like I know. One last time he cared his about studies. Studies. When he spots a bunch of a bunch of costume crooks making a getaway from a robbery. The like, surefire way to get caught in New York City and Marvel. Come on. I know, especially at this time, the the hotbed of superheroes. I mean, yeah could get caught by spider-man i mean thor could be like drop some lightning on you it's like why would you uh move to kansas just stay out of smallville <laughs> it doesn't even matter in marvel uh attacking the costume crook spider-man makes short work of them until he is attacked by the silver samurai who catches the wall crawler and easily defeats him in combat Hmm. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. else interesting. Meanwhile, <laughs> I wouldn't say easily, but okay. <laughs> well, meanwhile, elsewhere, the Black Widow is taking an absence from the champions to come to New York, seeking out Nick Fury. Oof. 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 Eighteen. Uh, That's what was that? tough. Eighteen <laughs> issues of yeah. Uh, yeah. For those of you who don't know, kids, yeah, that was Ghost Rider, Ray's favorite Hercules, Angel, Iceman, Black Widow. They had to have a redhead on the team, you know, to parallel another team. Just saying. Oh. Just uh, saying. I was going to say, the champions, for when the defenders don't pick up the phone. <laughs> God. <Yeah. laughs> the defenders are for when nobody else picks up the phone. I was going to say, you got bargain based with defenders. <laughs> Like other defenders, like nah, we're gonna we're gonna pass this on over to the champions. <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine not being able to get into the defenders? <laughs> Oof! That's oh, why yeah. I just take personal offense with you know Black Widow being on that team. <laughs> she is better than everyone there. It's <laughs> fine getting her due. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> and Ray's probably like Hercules, Hercules, another Avenger. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Yes, Ray is a phrase like in love with Hercules. A lot of I mate. Mean, I mean, we have Conan and, you know, Australians have Hercules. It's fine. <laughs> Look how big it is. Uh, That's what Black Widow said. Hey, -o. <laughs> So, uh, yes, Widow goes six. She's like, hello, fe hello, fellow uh, arachnid themed superhero. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello, kids. Okay. Uh,. Pull yourself up and slip into it. I mean, they both have to slip into those costumes. I'm, I'm exactly. just saying. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Lord. Going to the barber shop that is a secret base for S.H.I.E.L.D., the Black Widow enters the secret command center and is surprised to find that everyone is missing. Black Widow has entered the chat. <laughs> oh, God. Returning to her champ's craft. You'll know they were trying to make that a thing. It's You'll okay. Know. You'll know it by the giant C on the on the hood, yeah. Uh, she spots the battle between Spider-Man and the Silver Samurai and prevents the Japanese warrior from killing Spider-Man. Exactly. That's why I said it wasn't that easy. <laughs> yeah. As the two old enemies tangle once more, the Silver Samurai is unprepared when Spider-Man regains his feet and gets the drop on the Samurai. You uh, damn thwipping right! <laughs> somebody who has more time than me... Like, go through the Marvel team ups and tell me how many of these were like just, you know, the two, you know, Spider Man and whoever just like happened to bump it. Like, oh, hey! All of them! All of them! You're in the neighborhood too? Like I, I said, know. hello, fellow arachnid themed superhero! It's gotta be at least 90%. That's like... Uh, fighting at a construction site. Because it's the seventies, the samurai compromises one of the building's new utility cores, causing the foreman on the job to topple to his doom. No, not that doom. No, and not that other doom either. <laughs> what the computer game? Oh, not that other other doom either. Then uh, you know you got you got uh, you got Rob, <laughs> you got Victor. <laughs> you got Master Doom. You got Doctor Doom. You got the game. Exactly. Yeah. 
He is saved by Spider-Man, but the danger is not over yet as the building is at risk of falling thanks to the compromised utility core. Spider-Man works quickly to create a temporary fix to prevent the building from falling on their heads while the Black Widow faces the Silver Samurai. Because he's alert. a scientist and he's smart. Remember? <laughs> he was going home to study, remember? Thank God he got to that chapter already. <laughs> Uh, like he can Wally West it and just read it in 10 seconds and fix it and then, you know, exactly. retain it. <laughs> exactly. By the That's time actually the best superpower to have, to be honest. To be able to speed read and retain that information. I'm just saying. Really? Well, if you're a real nerd, real nerds, that's our that's what the superpower we would really ask, actually ask for. <laughs> Remember when, like, uh, Jeff Johns' is, uh, Titans in the early 2000s? Like, when... Uh, Impulse wanted to become Kid Flash and get serious. Remember, he just like what he went to the library and read every book they had. It's almost like the Matrix, but you don't have to plug in. All natural. <laughs> oh, natural. Wow. Side note: Super excited for the Matrix Four, and I don't even know why. Because I'm hoping they make up for three. Mm -hmm. That's all. They just they need a better resolution than three. So. <laughs> I think I think that should be like their tagline on the poster. Sorry for three. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than revolutions. You don't even have to leave your house. <laughs> come see, come see number three. Come see uh, Matrix uh, four. <laughs> I mean, they're capitalizing on the hot commodity that is uh, the Keanu Reeves Renaissance. Although I posit we never left the Keanu Re Keanu Reeves Renaissance. It can't be. Anyway, anyway, back to another uh, awesome action fighting hero that is Black Widow with the movie coming up very soon. Mm -hmm. In Black, no less. <laughs> right, July 9th, kids. <sighs> I'm actually kind of excited, but don't tell Marvel. Oh! <laughs> Shh, don't tell Charlie. <laughs> it should be good. Come on. I know, I'm excited. Taskmaster, this is the last uh, Scarlett Johansson appearance. Oh, yeah, it's getting replaced by. Uh, <laughs> like, waiting for someone to throw somebody. I know, it's like, shh, don't at me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, but it's Florence, what was that? Florence Pugh taking over. I, I mean, I'm assuming because she shows up, they, they already have the plan for the crossover with Hawkeye. Mm. So that's what I'm assuming. Tasha sent me to you for training. <laughs> oh, lo oh, my Lord. Is that our West Coast Avengers? Is he going to be like training her and Kate Bishop and whoever else? I mean, isn't it weird how Jeremy Renner of all people is the least problematic out of the original Avengers? Really? Like, yeah, he really is. I mean, of course, you don't, if you take Chris Evans out of the mix. We, I, was, we, I was about to say. That goes without saying. Okay, I was about to say. What happened to Chris Evans? What did he do? Uh, although I am <laughs> waiting for that shooter drop. I'm just saying. <laughs> Chris Evans can get it all day, every day. I love him, but he's too perfect. Somebody is going to knock him off his pedestal. Mark my words. You saw them pictures. She's like, he's too perfect. Chris Evans can get it all day, every day. Mark my words. <laughs> Come on, Chris Evans. You can hit her with that mighty shield. Come on. Well, he is in a relationship, and I respect it. So. Oh, is he? Supposedly. <laughs> it's Hollywood. It'll be done in five minutes, maybe. Now she's a normal girl, so it might last. I mean, oh, look good. at Matt Damon. Look at Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I'm just saying. True. True. I know. Well, wait for Keanu Reeves. He seems too perfect. Now he's a surfer, bro. You know? Yeah. Like, he's just been Keanu Reeves for like my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's another one like Paul Ruddy. Don't age. Immortals. That's true. Uh -huh. Now yeah. that's the immortals I want to see. Paul Rudd. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Morgan Freeman's looked like he's 60 for the last 60 years. He didn't get the deal till too late. <laughs> exactly. Vampires in Hollywood. Yeah, we don't want to we don't want to drink blood. We just want to make movies. Oh, if yeah. you watch Supernatural, you know, you know, with the Paris Hilton, the Paris Hilton episode. That's exactly what it is. Oh my. <laughs> Anyway, um, I like this artwork. It's like, it's kitschy because it's that old fashioned style, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just something about like this era of comic book art. It's not homogenous, but they all have like a the, the same vibe. Yeah. And I like, I think it was on purpose to be, to be like the Marvel look. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I think it, 
they they don't want to like. It's very much. I think they were like secretly cultivating a very uh, a, a house style, whereas DC is kind of all over the place at this time and even today. <laughs> yeah, they wanted you to pick it up and be like, no, kind of know what you're gonna get art wise, yeah. Yeah. So I kind of like that. I dig it, and you know, she's not actually over sexualized, surprisingly. No, I, <laughs> I mean that costumes kind of rip the shreds on the cover, but besides that, yeah, no. I mean, she's a woman. You're expecting it. Like, remember you whatever you say about a woman as long as she's alive at the end of the comic book we did a good job oh that's true it's claremont it's 1977 okay yeah yeah i'm just saying <laughs> she's a redhead she got off easy yeah oh <laughs> yeah we know how claremont treats some redheads scott included scott included <laughs> oh man that was the downfall of cyclops uh but by the time Spider-Man is done, the samurai is gaining the advantage against the Black Widow. Out of web fluid. Hey-o! Hey-o! Long night. Well, leave me alone. Uh, Spider-Man tosses a steel bar at the silver samurai, disorienting, disorienting him briefly. Hey, oh. you know you have to stay hydrated. That's why he was out of web fluid. That's right. <laughs> Since we have no sponsors, we can just... <laughs> Hug our merch! <laughs> Don't run out of your web fluid, kids. Get yourself a case of lunatics, Scott. Hey, we're still looking for sponsors. <clears throat> Look at you, Bang. Um, Bang, Monster, Amazon especially. Like, please, for the love of God, sponsor us, Amazon. Oh, my God. I just remember we... Especially talked. now that Jeff Bezos is gone and he's off and he's going into space. Like, yeah, yo, y'all can, y'all can sponsor us. I remember we talked about Bang, and then what was it, like yesterday or the day before I walked in the cafeteria and someone had left a can of Bang sitting there. I was like, oh. I mean, they're good. Are that, does that person work out? Because it's like got creatine in it. So I, I know that's and no sugar. I don't know whose it was. It was just sitting there. So I was like, oh. Um, but yeah. Actually, Bang should sponsor our Patreon. Oh yes. <laughs> Actually, that <laughs> we need family friendly sponsors. <laughs> or hell, just just put the money in the Patreon. I'll we'll, we'll come up with uh G rated and R rated ads. Dang, nope. Exactly. Um, uh, but yes, he disorients the silver silver samurai, although he still manages to strike down the black widow. Spider Man see I, something about that don't sit right in my spirit. But again, Black Widow is B A M F. Okay, <laughs> I know, but it's Claremont. He loves like his characters, like Silver Samurai and stuff. Not even an interesting character, but okay. I know, but it, it's his. <laughs> I know, I know. He's getting his shekel. I, yeah. I know. One of his babies. Oh, remind me to ask um, DG about um, when you create a character and somebody else uses it. Do you get that shekel? <laughs> remind me. Okay. Not to flex on y'all like that, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> <the> piece, sir. <laughs> uh, Sorry. But Spider-Man enters the fray and lands a number of punches while avoiding the slashing of the samurai sword. The Black Widow... Well, spider, spider sense coming in handy. Exactly. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I know. It just seems like a lot of stories people seem to forget about it or... or purposely want to forget about it it's ting ting tingling ting ting tingling and i think that's like actually one of the most iconic things about him so it's just so ironic to me i know the, it's like i don't want to write an excuse for why he gets hit i don't you know. <laughs> uh but the black widow gets back up and contributes to the fight before spider-man lands a knockout punch that leaves the samurai unconscious wow really he knocked out the silver samurai really <laughs> Well, talk the, about with the privileges of being the main character. Okay, is it because it's his book? <laughs> of course it is. But it's like you're here every month. Why don't you let the guest star get the get the final punch every so often? That's what I'm saying. Like, be a gentleman. Let let Widow punch him out. Exactly. After you, my lady. <laughs> uh, searching the samurai's body, he finds the item that the warrior had come to steal. A strange clay statuette. This leaves Spider-Man and the Widow. Why is it one... always a statue, bro? I was Why? Gonna, I was going to say Indiana Jones, but this is before Indiana Jones. No, that, that's a very common like adventure yeah. trope. It's just always a statue. <laughs> well, yeah. Or a jewel, to be fair. Looking at you, Atlantis attacks. 
<laughs> was that a crown? Same difference. It was full of my family jewels. <laughs> Will Hellfire stole a bunch of family jewels at her time. Hey. <laughs> Shh. It's all satire and parody. Hey. <laughs> Until the FBI comes. All right, Love Hellfire. What did you think of this one? I like I said, I liked it. I like the art style. I like this. It and I don't mean this in a bad way. It's very simplistic and straightforward. And sometimes I think modern comics just kind of lose the vibes of being simple and straightforward and just telling a good one-off story. Mm-hmm. I thought, you know, for the time, you know, I thought that could have worked a little bit better, but you have to remember the time, you have to remember the writer. So I liked it a lot. It's a it's a solid B plus story. Oh yeah, definitely. But the, but the Silver Samurai just feels like a sore thumb, just sticking out like a sore thumb. I would have picked someone else on that front. Yeah, I mean, well, next well next episode maybe we'll we'll see what he does because it's Claremont again. It's Spider Man, Black Widow, Silver Samurai shows up, but a lot more people show up also. So. It's the Chris Claremont redemption arc. Find out if we like it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's, it's, it's like four issues. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, see, as yeah. time goes on, people can't tell a single straightforward story. Yeah, but these these three show up again, and you know, we'll see if if we add uh, Nick Fury and Chang Chi to the mix, if that uh, improves it any. Uh, well, Nick Fury don't look like Samuel L. Jackson yet, so I doubt it. Hashtag fight me. I don't care. I don't like the David Hasselhoff looking Nick Fury. There, I said it. And you had to like re replace that guy because he's been around since like World War II. I mean, he could have been a howler with the with the formula. I'm just saying. There's all kinds of reasons why people wouldn't age in the Marvel Universe. What's his comment? Whoever you are. <laughs> They're fig pins now, buddy. They're fig pins. <laughs> That's what the kids are into now. <laughs> Goodbye, Funko Pops. Hello, fig pins. There you go. If you're into collecting, that's the new thing. If you don't know. Yeah. They're more expensive than Funko, so I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> but y'all be safe, though, with your wallets. <laughs> or Funko's out of style now? I mean, it's not out of style, but... Big pins are kind of giving them a run for their money right now in the collector's market. For like the nerdy collector's market, definitely. Yeah. Oh, and for those of you who are interested, I don't, did you see there's a line of uh, Deadpool 30th anniversary Funkos, of course? I have them, and we will uh, we will review the uh, Deadpool 30-year anniversary uh, collector core box on the Patreon. Oh, Nice. So there you go. So if you're curious, but I do. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I have one real close. I'll be right back. Let okay. me make sure my Spider Man thing is on here. But, but yeah, kids, we have, uh, yeah, we'll be doing the, a Wade's World annual here, which will be, you know, our usual standards. And then we'll be doing one on Patreon. We'll be completely uncensored. So we'll Go. On her uh, collection, all completely insane. <laughs> but yeah, Luca. Yeah, my parent, my parent, my dad got Luca one. It's uh, the one with Deadpool jumping out of the cake. Yep. Yeah, that one. Yeah, Luca got that. That was that one. Yep. So yeah, I thought that that was really cute and. Uh, from what I saw, the box is really cool too. So can't wait to review that for you guys. And do they sell? Uh, are they selling a bunch of places? Because I swear the box he got it said something about like a Seven Eleven exclusive. I'm like, really? Seven Elevens get the exclusive on the? <laughs> Remember, because when Deadpool movie came out, the Slurpees and the Chimichangas and stuff were there. So I think they might have like a uh, a first dibs kind of thing. Now that I think about it, that kind of makes sense. But I've never seen a Funko in 7-Eleven, but go off, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's getting... Yeah, the whole line is really cool. Um, oh. they, I want the... um, I like the Los, uh, the Luchadors line, too. Mm. I'm trying to collect those. All. I think there's like six of them. They've got Spider-Man, Carnage. I think they had like... um. I want to say, was it Shocker? No, it wasn't Shocker. It was one of the, the one of the other villains. But yeah, th that line's pretty cool too. But yeah, the Deadpool ones, there's so many. 
There's like two birthday lines, I think, technically. Hmm. The, the red ones and then the black ones that are more exclusive. Like uh, everything, like, yeah, all these ones on the back of this box, they come in black, and those are the more exclusive ones. Okay. And did the Falcon and Winter Soldier ones come out? Because I saw it. Not yet. They're still, like, in pre-sale. I know they don't hit. I, I know you can't, or, like, they don't ship until July 7th, I want to say. And I'm like, really? July 7th? Captain America? Falcon uh, and the Winter Soldier? You couldn't do it before 4th of July? Really? Because I thought I saw US Agent in my store, but like, like TV. Those particularly could have shipped early, but I know that it's really hard to get the two Falcon uh, ones, and I know uh, the Bucky one sold out. But the regular, the new Captain America one with the shield and the hammer, that one I know for sure. And the new, the new round of Falcon go out July seventh because I have them pre-ordered on Amazon. That's what I know. <laughs> And I, know, and I know Lil doesn't care, but kids, I see that I guess Loki's getting some too. So that makes sense. Oh, yeah. They're I doing mean, those. Yeah. I, I might get into it if, you know, they actually keep Lady Loki and get rid of Tom Hiddleston. I might, I might get into it. Could be getting a lot of stuff if the multiverse co comes about. Just saying. Get rid, of, get, get rid of Tom Hiddleston and we will see. Oh, my. <laughs> No offense to the guy. I mean, you know, he has his fans, but I'm not oh, one of them. I thought you were going to say he was problematic or something. No, 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 not problematic. I just, I don't get it. It's like Benedict Cumber Cookie or whatever. I don't, I don't get it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't get it. They're like, they, I, I don't know. For me specifically, Benedict Cumber Cookie or whatever is like, it's like that, um, that meme, like, you know, hot, ugly or ugly, hot. He's just ugly, ugly. <laughs> He doesn't even have a good personality, so I don't get it. I think he was the perfect person to play Doctor Strange, though. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's acting at all. <laughs> Put you that way. If you know, you know. Hold on. Let me look at my phone here. I want to find out who this uh, is. Oh, no. I hope I didn't alienate you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's Chad. <laughs> I mean, I, I like being a stoner, but not a hiddle stoner. <laughs> hey. She's not smoking no Hiddleston. Hey. <laughs> Just saying. Um, no, Lady Loki is really super interesting to me. So nice. It would kind of make sense since they're doing Lady Thor. Mm -hmm. The vibes on that. Now that we can get behind and ship. Although I do ship uh uh her with Kat Denny's character though. I really oh, do. Hi. Marcy, come on. Although, you know, I don't want to still I don't want to still Anthony Mackie shine, so I'll, I'll just keep that to myself. Well, that's, what I, that's what I was gonna say. If you if we go by the Avengers comic at the time, yeah, she could get with Anthony Mackie, yeah. Yeah, so fingers crossed. We'll see what happens on that one. Okay, so Spider-Man news. Um so yeah. Nick Nick Spencer is set to leave the title with uh, Amazing Spider-Man 74. Damn, they couldn't even give him 75? Oh, well, I, that's what I was thinking, but it's if you go by legacy numbering, it'll be 875. No one cares about legacy unless it's the number 69, okay? Okay. <laughs> I thought we I thought we discussed this. <laughs> 69. You should go for the main title's number. That's just rude. Yeah. That's just, I mean, he's done a lot for the comic book right now recently. He brought back the buzz, but then again, that storyline has been dragging. But yes, it'll be the milestone 875th issue. So, you know, that means kids big. Uh, we'll be so in are we going to get two big back-to-backs? Are they just going to um, honor the legacy number? Because I think I, that that's rude. I don't know. Well, 875 will be 80 pages. So I guess, nope. I, I'm taking 75 issue. Actual issue 75 is not going to be anything. That's fine. Mm, let's do a, a somewhat bigger one for, you know, the new writer or whatever. Andrew WK and Kat. Oh my god! That that makes sense to me. <laughs> no, I actually love Andrew WK, but I haven't like followed him in a long time. But yeah, that is cute. So, if Nick Spencer's leaving with seventy four, does that mean we're are we gonna like get all our answers about Kindred and everything? 
<laughs> no, we're going to pretend like that storyline never happened, Phil. Come on. Well, that's I, mark my words, bro. They're going to be like, what? No, that was a hallucination. Bad I'm, spider fluid, bro. Bad web fluid. I thought maybe they were just going to wrap it up so they could like get it out of the way or something. How can you? Nothing's going to live up to that hype. And with the new team coming, that literally means nothing matters because they're just going to reboot to where they want to be. That's just how it is now. Oh, my God. Last night, Charlie Anderson mentioned that. Uh, you know, Gwen Stacy's children. I was like, we don't talk, we don't do that here. Did you get, you got to threaten them with a the backhand. <laughs> we don't, we, we don't talk about that here. Virtual. Oh my God. He's talking about coming to town like <clears throat> that weekend at July 9th. That, you know, I should just like backhand them. What's that for? Gwen Stacy's children. <laughs> and also because this is a Batman page. <laughs> this is a, this is a Batman. Batman household. <laughs> That's how we say hello. This is a Batman house. <laughs> oh, my Lord. We know how you don't say goodbye, but I'm going to leave it alone. And are they going to bring that, put that marriage back together or something? Because that's the cover to uh, the That's issue. clickbait like a mug. Or they're telling like uh, what if stories or something like that. Mark my words. We're not getting that marriage back for a while. Wait. Even though it felt like we were. I mean, 80 pages. Like I'm guessing that's backups. And let, you know, oh, galore. Unless we do like a big main story to put, you know, give us answers. <laughs> we need 80 pages to explain everything about Kindred. And, <laughs> and I think the main story will be like 10 pages and then everything else. Is <laughs> everything else is just whatever. I know. Uh, but yeah, like this article was saying, I mean, he's been on there since 2018. Wow. We've been. Wow. But he, but Nick Spencer's leaving. <laughs> Because I guess uh, he has he has a deal with Substack to launch a new comics platform. Oh, cool! Just like our friend DG. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Batman house. Yeah, like- Actually, technically, it's a Nightwing house, so that doesn't stand. <laughs> <laughs> technically. <laughs> Nightwing, very generous lover, and how do I know that? I mean, come on, look at Starfire. I think she's hanging around if he's not a. Uh... She has options that she Oh, she has many options. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I don't know how I feel about this. It's like, what? I mean, is he leaving of his own volition or do they just want him gone? I would have Like, how come we can't just, I mean, back in our day, writers would stay a lot, lot, lot longer than two years for a lot of the time. Maybe, I, I know, 75 is like a, a huge run these days, but it's like. Yeah, these days. <laughs> I'm thinking since he got that, you know, since he's working on that new thing, you know, maybe he did leave all of his own, maybe. I hope so. Because it's not like he's done anything terribly atrocious. And Uh-oh. I mean, I like him. Did they say who's replacing him? Um, They didn't officially say, but don't. Um, Oh, who do they have? They, I thought starting this last time they had a new co-writer. So it's I'm wondering if, Uh-oh. He, you know, like training his replacement or whatever, maybe. Hold on, let me bring this up. Uh, I would think they would place him, replace him with a big name. I mean, um, yeah, because the last issue, uh, he was on there with Ed Briston. So, oh, okay. So I don't know if I don't know if he's taken over. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but don't you think that makes sense? That you know, if, if he's leaving, to just like train his, you know. Replacement? Oh, he gave him the, the old two week notes. Hey, before you go, can you train your replacement? And since comic book industry is a small world, he had to. <laughs> oh, Tom Taylor's doing what now? Tom Taylor is running off to Marvel for. Oh, yeah. Tom Taylor's doing a Dark Ages. I don't know if it's like a what if or whatever, but they're, you know, it's another one. There's, oh, the Marvel, you know, the Marvel heroes fail. <laughs> I mean, they do it all the time. Just look at the X Men. But anyway, <laughs> I'm guessing. Tom- I mean, the only competent heroes, honestly, can we be honest? Fantastic Four. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, they're the only ones whose like roster basically kind of stays the same. I mean, Avengers, X Men. It's like you get a new team. They're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pull my favorites on the team this time. You know. Just saying, not for nothing. Even when they were kind of discombobulated and going through the Fantastic Five stage, still pretty damn co- competent. Just saying, and you know we love competent heroes. 
Yes, the Dark Ages. That looks like a bad video game, but that's just me. <laughs> well, that's a, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's like a what if or an alternate timeline because everyone's like, oh yeah, it's the because then he, did he do some like injustice and stuff? Yeah, like, I'm thinking it's something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, he's not running off, uh, Chad. I think he's uh, he's walking both he's walking both sides of the street. Cause he's on Nightwing right now, which I think every issue he's done so far has gone back for like second printings and stuff. So. Yeah, they ain't gonna let him go. And then he's doing that new Superman book with John Kent. So. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's gonna fix what Bendis did. Maybe or if he's even allowed to. I don't yeah. think we're allowed to fix Bendis stuff, honestly, because he's still around. That'd be awkward. Oh, honestly, no. I feel like Bendis is about to get a really huge promotion in the next three months to something pretty big, something pretty major. Well, they are. This chat what you, at this point. Name your source. Well, they are planning a Marvel vs. DC video game. I'll let oh, oh, like back in the day when it was like Capcom, Mortal Kombat versus uh, Street Fighter. Maybe. And like it's so weird. I thought I saw an article. Um, I thought they were saying uh, James Gunn was taught. He said, "Oh, he unofficially was talking to them about you know Marvel, and, the Marvel and DC movie universe is doing a crossover." And no and, freaking way. And so many people were like. <laughs> since when does You're DC so full of crap? <laughs> Every, everyone was like, since when does DC have a movie universe? <laughs> they definitely don't want to pay Skyder the rest of, uh Scott uh, Zack Snyder the rest of that money. So they're that I mean, honestly, to, to be real, like that's why they're that's why that universe is as cold as sec, and people are gonna be really disappointed with the Flash movie, apparently. Oh, is that why Zack, is that why Zack Snyder was like uh, injecting himself into the Batman uh, that big the big Batman talk recently? Okay, but quite as this kept he he just wants his money. He actually doesn't want he, he wants his money and what's due to him because they kind of did him slightly dirty. Like I get it, but at the same time, just just cut your losses and run. You got Netflix for a bag, son. You got him for a movie and two animated prequels. Well, what's their thinking? Are they were they just like, oh, well, you left Justice League early? Any way they can get you, any way they can stiff you on money in the industry, they'll do it. You need the money, Jimmy, Jimmy. So, what are you saying, Chad? You want the live action MCU to team up with the DC animated universe? That would be pretty sweet, actually, because Marvel animated stuff is garbage. Y'all can at me, I don't care. It's garbage compared to DC, even compared to the Killing Joke. Garbage. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm not saying it's like Batman Ninja. Like we we leave that movie out. <laughs> if you leave that out of it. <laughs> Hopefully, I hope Long Halloween is at least somewhat decent. I feel like the rated R part is probably going to be gratuitous cash grab. That is so weird. One, the first part's PG thirteen, and the like, all right, we got him hooked. Now we can really. Like I said, I don't know if it's because they mess up Harvey Dent's face in part two, and yeah. Yeah, it's probably rated. So the acid sizzling his face off. <gasps> I think it was accurate. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna be here for it. <laughs> don't judge me. But um, Miles Morales was um. Oh yeah, he's, he's doing right. something. Twenty seven, yeah, because yeah, Charlie and I were talking about that a little last night because um, yeah, the assessor might have something to do with those Infinity Stones because like a bunch of those annuals are uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Miles's annual is going to be in there too. So. Deep breath, kids. We can make it through this. Oh, and uh, if you're interested, little Hellfire, yeah, the next annual, which will be uh, part three, will be is in the Black Cat annual. Okay, I mean, I get that. That's on the list. <laughs> yeah, because part one was Iron Man, part two is Captain America, yeah, and then whenever the next part comes out, it's Black Hat. So, okay. So at least I was bought bought one book. <laughs> oh, and it's kind of timely for this episode, kids, because yeah, the Captain America annual Black Widow was in there too, and they're trying to track down the guy with the time stone who kind of keeps like getting away from them because he, you know, keeps. Like stopping time or like hmm, time stones. What what great synergy those comic books have I with, the, with the MCU. Well, that well, this story I guess was the, this Infinite Destinies was supposed to be out earlier, but COVID you know delayed it. So oh, okay, it was probably going to be closer to like you know not too long after Endgame and stuff. So yeah, so it would be Oof. Oof. or maybe twenty twenty. So, yeah. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah. We're, we're all kind of over the time stone, but you know, thank God for Vi Wanda, WandaVision. 
But no, one of my favorite moments is just like, you know, they're having trouble catching this guy with the time stone. And Black Widow just says to Captain America, she's like, well, why don't you leave town and let me handle this? Meaning, you know, kill the guy. <laughs> exactly. Go on a vacation. Uh, Whatever happened to that sweet lady, Bernie? <laughs> exactly. Come on. Is it Black Cat or Queen Cat? Because I felt cheated in those volumes, Chad says. How could you ever feel cheated? <laughs> but Black Cat is amazing. Modern Black Cat is amazing. Seriously. Oh, <gasps> there you go. We're always making the Black Cat Catwoman comparisons. We'll be like, oh, you know Spider-Man, does it? I mean, he gets really hot chicks, so yeah. He could. Oh yeah. He I mean, you you see that spandex? It hides nothing. Oh yeah, Black Cat, Mary Jane. Oh yeah. Gwen Stacy is not a dog either. Not Betty, exactly. Br Betty, you got a cougar on that one. I'm just saying. Oh wow. You know she taught him a thing or two. I'm just saying. And he can do it from any angle, kids. Hey. -o. Hello. <laughs> on that note, we should go. <laughs> Give them the homework, boys. <laughs> Perfect ending. Yes. All right. So, yes, children. So, like I said, this is the beginning of our Black Cat Month. So, uh, yes, all our episodes this month will be Black Widow. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Also, on that, the Del check out the Devil You Know, the Daredevil podcast. We'll be covering that Daredevil 236 and 247, both Black Widow issues. Uh, but Don't you love the synergy? the clicks and the views he does it all almost someone planned it that way yes uh so yes next time like i said marvel team up 82 through 85 <gasps> oh hey not only we'll get some black widow we'll get some shang chi you know oh okay yeah double the clicks yes <laughs> double then, the clicks selena's jealous hey -oh. <laughs> no i said click oh okay i added the c to it okay uh <laughs> And then in two weeks, Marvel team up 98. And then, Sounds like a plan, Jan. Then, of course, after that, it's another Scarlet Spider Month uh, or week. So the sausage fest continues. <laughs> all right, kids. So, yeah, send your thoughts on all of those. Uh, oh, Lord. Okay. Chad, he picked up the Jed stuff for Black Cat, is mostly Queen Cat getting pissy. <laughs> Rightly so, though. I mean, well, what do you expect, Chad? I mean, we're getting a <clears throat> cat fight. Play the music. Well, <laughs> some people want to set their thoughts on uh, not having issues. Uh, that's at Nightwing PDP. <laughs> and that's send us your favorite and not favorite moments from the Nick Spencer run. Uh, Every angle that Spider Man does it in, uh, email us capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 capes. And remember to follow Ultimate Spider Cast on Facebook, Twitter. You can find links to all of the various social medias for all the various shows. Links to this YouTube channel. Watch those eyes roll on Little Hellfire's head. Uh, links to the Patreon. More and more stuff coming there. Uncensored Wade's World. Hard R movie reviews. Uh, boot windows and long boxes. Uh, we got more in the works. And like I, I've been saying on the other shows, some of our summer annuals will be exclusively there. So, yeah, subscribe, sign up to Patreon. It's the effing juggernaut! That's right. If you want us, uh, our uncensored review of, uh, yes... Spider-Man's battle with the Juggernaut. Yeah, that classic storyline. You're going to have to sign up for Patreon. And you better go find that drop from the movie. <laughs> X3. On the ever. Yes. All right, kids. So, yes, and find all that and links to merch all in one place. That's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And please remember to support the Southgate Media Group. That's right. Keep your web... Keep your web fluid loaded, kids. <laughs> but yes, uh, please support Southgate Media Group. Go to southgatemediagroup.com or uh, check out their Patreon also. There's, you know, all kinds of free content from the net. everyone on the network. There's paid content. So From the two best Southgates. Not Rob. Don't worry about it. Oh, my. <laughs> and if you want to monetarily uh, support the uh, 
well, yes, sign up for the Patreon and then go pick up Pod Life the book now in digital and paperback. And the best way to do that is oh, you're buying it from Amazon. I was going to say, since they don't sell it at, at Ikea, Lil Hellfire's favorite method, uh, <laughs> yes, you can pick it up on Amazon. And when you do, yes, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes because not only does that help support us, it supports the network, and it supports that crazy man in the samurai costume, Rob Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain, so says Master Doom. You're weak sauce. Yeah. Why did your eye drift over to my box? Go back and look at my history, and you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. Mark my words. Such a madman. Love Hellfire. Um, if you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs, at Love Hellfire on Twitter, at Love Hellfire 69 on Instagram, at Love Hellfire 69 on TikTok. Yay! I oh, think the pants come off next. It's been a while. It's in his prison purse. <laughs> Uh, and it's Spider-Man, and we mentioned Black Cat. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> All right, kids. Yes, thank you for joining us. Should I say kids? My kids are in chat. Uh, <laughs> come back in one week for Marvel Team on eighty two for eighty five. Black Widow returns. So the camera I returns. You're in Shang Chi. Oh, the return of the player mode. But until then. Swing on back. Twit, twit, twit!